Okay, so one little detail before we get started. This line doesn't make sense anymore because we're trying to access uh, fields that are now uh, private. So let's get rid of it. So uh, can't do this anymore. Okay, so in this video, what we're going to do, in this lesson, we're going to talk about uh, assessor methods. Um, getters and setters. And before you start, you really, really, really need to understand um, the reason why we don't want fields to be public, okay? Because we just don't want to allow um, everyone to be able to directly access these fields. We want to go through a set of criteria or an algorithm before we do it. If you don't understand this, ask me, email me, watch the last minute of the previous lesson um, until you understand it. Okay, so <clears throat> let's get started here. So uh, first I'm going to do here is I'm going to push this down a bit. And this uh, little bracket here is the end of my class. All right. Okay, so here I'm going to have a comment. And these are my uh, assessor methods, getters, and setters. Okay. I'm just going to have a nice big comment here. All right. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to have a uh, I'm gonna have a setter method. Okay, sets the name, sets the first name field. Okay, and this is going to look something like this. I'm gonna, it's a it's a public method. Uh, void set name f is going to be the string. I'll explain this in a second. String name f. Like that uh, is the end of my method. Okay, and I'm going to go uh, this. No, this. Okay, here now. Check this out. This is kind of cool. Uh, Dream Weaver like. Uh, I just I just typed in this, and then guess what? Uh, here's my uh, here's the field I want to set. So I'm just going to click on that. Name f uh, is equal to name f okay so I'll show you a few things here <coughs> all right okay so let's uh, let's talk about this method here okay so uh, <coughs> so this is a comment uh, now let's talk about this line here uh, the name of the method or behavior is one that I chose I call this set name f, okay, because it is very descriptive of what it is. Notice the naming convention. It's, I have three words here: set name and then f, okay. The first word lowercase. The second word is uh, uppercase n, and the third word is uppercase f. Another common naming convention that I, I I don't really like to use myself is kind of the C plus plus naming convention to name it something like this: set name and f to divide everything by uh, spaces. But variable function names never have uh, spaces in them, like like this. That's that's incorrect. Okay, and um, okay. Anyways, there you go. So the name of my function or behavior or method is set name f. Okay, it is of the type void. What this basically means is when this out when this function is done um, done its work, it's it's going to return no values. All right. And it is a type public. So this is a this is a setter assessor method. It basically has to be public because I'm going to use this method to set the name f. Uh, and it, and because it's public, it can be used in any other class. Okay. Now what I'm going to do. Uh, so that's that's basically I've just basically explained up to here. Okay. Now in this. Uh, in this line here, string name f. This is where I'm. Uh, this is how you read it. This uh, method set name f is expecting a parameter um, of the type string, of the data type string. This parameter is going to have the variable name f, and I'm going to use it down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set, I'm going to set the name f field, okay, uh, to the parameter that is passed into it. Now, it's really important that you understand this, and I'll, I'll be honest, it is it is kind of confusing. So listen very carefully. 
the name F here corresponds to this one here. Okay. Although this is the same uh, name as this one, okay, these two are two completely different fields. When I highlight this field here, you notice that this one lights up as well. So this name F is referring to the private field that I've declared up here. And the reason why I can use it down here, okay, uh, is because number one, I declared it up here and it's a private field or property which means I'm able to access it within the same file. Okay. Now I could change the name of this. I could very easily make it NMF, in which case I would have to change not this one, okay, but I had changed this one to NMF. Right? And it would work. In this in some cases, having a different name here and here would make more sense. You can see that these two are associated with each other, but this one is associated with with, uh, with the uh, property up here. Okay? Pretty confusing, eh? So again, you might want to rewind it for the last minute and listen to it another dozen times uh, or ask me questions in order to uh, really understand it. Okay, so this is a setter method and the purpose of this method is to set the name F variable which can only be set from inside of this uh, of this class. Okay, so let's, set, let's see how to use it. So in here, I'm going to use my setter method. Okay, uh, use setter methods to set object fields okay so I'm gonna go g1 dot okay now uh, this is kinda this is kinda cool I get my um, okay I get my uh, uh, you get a list that pops up here which is neat now if I type it if I keep typing s e t now you see my function come up so I'm just going to hit return okay and then uh, it automatically pops up Dreamweaver style so I'm going to set it to princess All right and that's it so no errors and uh, if I run it it's not going to do anything but if I run it what I've done is I set my I set my um, um, Actually, let's uh, let's explain what's uh, how this works. Okay, so uh, in this line here, I've um, I'm creating a new object called G1. It is of the type account, and uh, I'm creating a new object here. So what I've done, what I'm doing here is I'm call now using the new using the object G1. I am calling the uh, set uh, set name F, which is an assessor method to set. A property or a field, and I'm passing to it the, the argument or parameter princess. So when I go back to here, okay, um, this is being called uh, the set name field or method is being called through the G1 object, okay, and the princess, okay, the parameter argument that I pass to this method is being stored in in this one here, okay. So this is this variable is going to be set. To the string princess and that is going to be placed down here okay and and that is going to be put in the name F right now uh, now we got to talk about this keyword all right uh, we need you need to understand how this this one works <coughs> okay but in the meantime uh, you might want to rewind this a few times and just to understand as, as long as you know how all of this works into conjunction um, you know with with this method here and you understand that why we have to do it this way is because I can't access this from outside the file uh, outside of this file so I need to use an assessor I need to use an assessor method to be able to set okay this this property in the next uh, lesson I'm gonna explain what um, what this one is and we're gonna uh, what this special keyword is and I'm going to um, um, we're going to create a uh, getter method.